In this video I want to explain the bisection method before in the next video showing you an example of how it works. So, what we've shown is that if, for example, I'm trying to solve f of x equals 0, and I find that f of a is positive, so this is f of a, and then f of b is negative, then between a and b, there must have been a point where the curve crosses the x-axis. So that will be the solution to this original equation. Now it's all well and good, me knowing that it's between a and b, but if I want a, an accurate answer to this problem, then this really isn't giving it to me. All it's saying is that it's between these two values a and b. And these could be like 3 and 4, for example. If I want a more accurate answer, I'm going to have to do a little bit more work. So what I could do is, let's say I get rid of this line. What I could do to home in on the solution is look at the midpoint between A and B. So the midpoint here can be found by adding A and B together and dividing by 2. Now the reason why I would look at the midpoint is that if when I substitute the midpoint into f of x and I found that I got this point, for example, so this is f of a plus b over 2, and I find that to be negative, that would mean that the solution must now be between a and that midpoint. Okay, so I've tracked it down that it's now between a and a plus b over 2. This is known as the bisection method, because I have bisected the distance that I'm considering here, and I'm homing in on that answer. So, let's say, for example, that this is my x-axis, and these are the two initial solutions, or the initial numbers that I'm looking at, and the actual answer is here. That's the actual root. So, substituting in A and B, I know with a change of sign that the, num the answer must lie between A and B. So if I now check the midpoint, A plus B over 2, I would then find that the solution must be between the midpoint and B. If I then found the midpoint between those two values, I could then say that the solution is between these two. And then I could find the midpoint of those two, and say the midpoint, the, the solution, sorry, is between those two values. Find the midpoint again, and then I could say that it's between those two values, and so on. And each time, I'm halving the distance, so I'm bisecting the distance, and I'm homing in on where that actual solution is, that actual root. So this is the bisection method, and it uses f of a plus b over 2. And I'm going to show you an example of how this works in the next video.